In this video, I'm going to introduce recursive types in F sharp. Uh, recursive types are types that can refer to themselves in the definition, which is a very useful property if you want to define structures that are recursive in nature. So examples of this would be something like lists if you define them in a recursive manner or perhaps trees or something like that. So there's a lot of use cases where you would need to self-reference when you define your type. To show one implementation of this, we're going to implement a list that's going to be self-referencing. So you can implement it either, you know, as a set of elements or you could have a, a linked list, which is what we're going to do here, that contains links to the next element. And the way you could define that is by writing type and then my list, let's call it like that. And in here, we would have a discriminated union. So we could either say that this list is now empty or it's going to be consistent of one element, which is of type int. So we're going to make an int list plus a my list object, right? So either the list that we're looking at is empty or it has some element that is, well, really recorded here. This is the actual value at that spot, but then it also contains a reference to another list. And this is going to be considered sort of the rest of the list. So the tail of it, if you, if you will, the way we would sort of define some functionality around this, let's define, for example, a sum list function we would need to define that as a recursive function in this case. So we would say let rec sum list, and then we'll provide an input list here. The implementation for this would be to match the list with, and then if it's empty, then we would simply return zero. We would say that the sum of that is zero, but otherwise if we have some element, and this would be of value and let's call it rest for the rest of the list then what we would return here is we would say value plus the rest of the list's sum so we would call again sum list here on the rest of the list right so we take the current element plus the sum of the rest of this this is a very common recursive way of summing up a list so what we could do now if we want to define this list just to see that everything works and, and sort of print out what the sum is going to be we can say uh, my instance here and we would say that this consists of now an element so we don't want our list to be empty so we're going to start with an element here and we're going to say that the first item is number one so then we're going to have another element and in here we're going to say that it's two so before i continue with even further nesting here you can see that we define a nested structure here so the element the second element here is contained within the first element so naturally this will have a, a nested structure. Then let me just create one more element here. This would be associated with a number three, let's say, and then we would say this is the end of the list. So here, instead of creating a new element, I'll just say empty like that. So now the list is properly closed. So uh, we don't have, I need to add in a parenthesis, but we, we don't have anything beyond the point of the third element. If I sum this, I would expect to get the sum of one, two, and three, that would be six. So let me just define that. Let sum equals, and then I would say sum list like that. I would pr provide it my instance like this, and we can also just print this. So print fn, and we would say that the sum is in this case like that. Okay, let me try and run this and we'll see what we get. Okay, sum is six. So everything worked fine. And you can see here that this is how we can define recursive types in F-sharp that reference themselves. We don't really need to do anything special. We don't have to decorate sort of our type, type declaration with any special keywords or anything. We can just say my list and then put the my list type actually in the definition of this.